Did I just break these? I just, that literally just broke. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, great. Okay, and just going in with a second. Oops, that is the wrong shade. I was about to go in with the wrong shade. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. These are all the products that I'm using in today's video. So if you want to see how I did the nails in the beginning, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with pushing back the cuticles using my cuticle pusher. And then I'm basically going to do some more nail prep with the e-file. Then I'm taking out my Macart JD700 e-file, which I absolutely love and I've had for years. You can use my discount code Nails by Camin to get yourself 15% off Macart stores. And I'm using like the Diamond Bits um, Flame, I think. The, the shape of this is called like the Flame Bit, I think, and it's like a, a diamond drill bit. So it's very gentle on the natural nails and I'm using this to remove like any dead skin or any cuticles that may be stuck on the nail plate. I'm then filing my smile line and also just neatening it up a little bit. And this is optional but I like to apply a peel off base because I like to kind of do my nails more often for YouTube so I kind of have to apply this so I can remove the nails off quickly afterwards. Then as that's drying, it takes about a couple minutes to dry, I'm just going to size up my tips. These are the XXL Coffin Clear Tips from Amazon. I absolutely love these. I will link these down below for you guys. I'm then applying the Macar Base Coat to my natural nails so that I can create kind of like a sticky layer between my nails and the poly gel. I'm then applying my tips. I do this using base coat because it's just easiest for me and it's like safer for my nails. So I just put base coat in the well of the tip and stick this on my nail. And I like preset my UV light to like 60 seconds and then just hold the nails underneath. And then using my really sharp scissors to cut my nails. I'm not using my nail tip cutters today because those broke actually during this video. So I don't know if like you saw at the beginning of the video but they like just stopped working completely i just don't know why but anyways moving on you then want to file the nail tip because it's so smooth and shiny you want to create like a rough textured matte surface so that the poly gel will stick onto it and basically not peel off so this is very important and then i'm just gonna apply base coat to all the nails this is optional but i just like to do it Moving on to the set, I'm going to use the shades Indigo and Blue from the Macart Rainbow Poly Gel Kit. I'm just going to do a good amount of that. I really like this, like the dark blues right now. Um, for winter, I really want to do some really nice like, dark blue sets. I think that would look really nice for winter time. Um, and I also can't wait to do like the Christmas sets. That's going to be so fun. So I have a couple of things planned, um, especially during Christmas break. So we'll see. I'm going to use um, the base coat as my slip. I just find that I get a smoother finish with this. So you can always use like the slip solution, but I prefer to use base. I really need to go and pull out my new base coat from Macart because this one has like almost died on me. And why I like to use the base coat because um, I find that I can do more for like this kind of motion and the base coat will just glide over, help me glide over. Do you prefer slip or base coat? Um, for me, it has to be base. Sometimes I like to use slip, but um, yeah, I usually use base. So I've got one thin layer. I'm gonna cure that and maybe add a little bit more. I'm gonna use natural pink from my card. It's just like a super light pink. I was really stuck between dark pink and light pink, but like the dark pink was a bit too pink and I feel like it would just clash with the blue. So I, meant I went for a more like neutral, lightish pink kind of 
face. So let's see how that goes. I feel like the nude isn't like dark enough. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm going to give the dark pink shade a go. Um, yeah, let's just see how it looks, I guess, color wise. Okay, so I'm happier with that. We'll just remove this extra stuff here. I'm gonna do that this lighter blue shade, it's called just blue. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing but on this finger. Joe underneath and then I'll go over with the glitter but I want to do the glit glitter today so this is the glitter I'm using it's so nice I really 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 like it I'm gonna put some of some tissue underneath I don't want to make too much of a mess although I know it will still be making a mess and so I'm gonna just grab that and kind of go over just like that oh that is so nice Okay, there we go. And I'm just tapping off the excess, as you can see. That's what it looks like. Oh wow, that is so nice. I'm gonna also try to sprinkle some of this back in. No, okay, we'll just leave it at that. It's just a little bit anyway. Oh yeah, cure it. I probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> cure it. <laughs> Okay, now that all these are done, I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I'm just going to encapsulate. Now I'm just going to wipe away the sticky layer. This is really, really important if you're going to file. Okay, so using my JD700 e-file as always and my barrel bit and just going to basically smooth everything out um, and shape up. That's pretty much what I'm going to do.
Okay, so everything is filed, everything is shaped. I'm just gonna remove the dust now. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply some top coat, again using my Makart top coat. And then I'm gonna do like the design and whatnot after this. So just apply the top coat. Okay, so for the design part of it, I'm going to do like this dotted design, but like reverse colors. So I'll just show you. So I'm using this light blue and this dark blue polish, gel polish that I have. And I've mixed these up well. And I'm just going to apply this to my little leaf resin plate, which is stained with poly gel and God knows what else. Because I made the rookie mistake of having this too close to my lamp so what i'm gonna do is basically have like fat dots and then <laughs> going smaller as i go up so let's just see how that looks so one and then as i go up it's gonna get like smaller if you know what i mean this is almost like the croc print um design that's kind of like popular it's kind of like that, but not really. And as you go up, just put less pressure on your dotting tool and you'll get like smaller dots. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do for the nail art here. And I'm just going to repeat that to the other nail as well, but with a light blue, which I think I'm actually going to have to make some dark blue into because it's a bit too light. Okay, that's better. Oops. As for the glitter now, I think I'm going to go over with more glitter because I kind of don't like how it's looking. So what I'm going to do is basically redo the glitter but not encapsulate or anything. So it's just going to be like the raw glitter on top. Oops. Try not to dip your finger in the pot but... that's much better i'm also just gonna like do a bit of this because i don't want it to ruin my sh take away from like the shape i created so if you want you could just do that and kind of neaten up the side walls i guess since the since there's blue <clears throat> underneath anyway i guess it's not a big deal so, and then just press anything that kind of pops up from the side just like that and there you go you have a nice glitter nail as for the thumb and pinky i'm just gonna do my beautiful crystals and for the beautiful crystals i've really been loving to do like these neon type of crystals so i'm gonna do that 
and I'm also going to use some micro beads today because I like how these kind of make it look a bit more elegant if that makes sense I'll show you what I mean when, as I'm doing it but and I don't have like any um rhinestone glue that would be really helpful to have so if you have rhinestone glue then use that as well if you want well it is for rhinestones so <laughs> technically you should be using it for that so I'm gonna do actually quite some big ones today so I'm gonna do a big one in the middle And finally, I'm finishing off with some cuticle oil and this is the final result. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!